pretty good, wasn't it? Good evening. Baron von Krept here. Boop. Welcome to my little music room. Many people don't realize that my first love was writing scores for musical tragedy. <laughs> Is that what made them tragedies? Very funny, Igor. You just... But who can forget some of my most memorable compositions like I Ain't Got Nobody, Peg In My Heart, Fangs For The Memories, Give Me Something To Dismember You By, and many, many more goodies. All these but goodies. In fact, even now I am rewriting a script for a new musical called A Funny Thing Happened On The Way To The Cemetery. My producer sent the script back to me last week with his note. He says there are too many plots. I love that word. He said, take the hearse out of the second scene. But the hearse is in the first scene, too. Why can't I have a hearse in the second scene as well? <laughs> the show opens tonight. There's no time to rehearse. No time to rehearse. I don't believe that, Igor. I don't believe it. You watch this. And you, Igor, when I get you, I'm going to throw... Hello there, Von Kript here, once again playing a few little selections of Beethoven in the back of my castle. Think about it, music lovers. I've given up writing musical tragedies. I've decided to turn my musical talents to recording. Baron, you mean you're going to listen to records? No, no, Igor, you impudent zombie. I'm going to make records, record my songs. I can't believe it. My first album is going to be called Von Kripp's Favorite Hits, or music in a jugular vein. Bloop. It will feature such hits as On the Foggy Side of the Street and Stranglers in the Night. I love it. Baron, Baron. What is it, Igor? What, what, what? The salesman just delivered your bass drum. Well, tell him to beat it. I can't believe it. Can't stand these interruptions. The only place it's quiet is in my coffin. I think I'll take a little bat nap. I'll see you in your nightmares. Trust me. Blue. I must get myself a bigger coffin. Good evening. I am Baron von Kripp. Welcome to my living room. Or should I say, dying room. As you can see, I am one who believes that a man's home is his castle. Actually, this is my vacation castle. I picked it up cheap from the estate of the Wicked Witch of the West. I come here when I don't want to be disturbed. <laughs> Baron, Baron. Igor. I said I come here when I don't want to be disturbed. But, Baron, you were disturbed long before you got here. Very funny, very funny, Igor. You see, you must forgive Igor. I made him out of a few odds and ends I found in Dr. Frankenstein's garage. Unfortunately, his mouth is bigger than his brain. Come to think of it, maybe he's got a future in politics. You watch this movie while I think about that. Trust me. Baron von Kript here at campaign headquarters for Igor. I've decided Igor is going to run for the presidency. How about that, Bunky? And as soon as he's elected, 
I am going to take over as head of the Internal Revenue Service. After all, I've had a lot of experience at sucking people dry. Trust me. Igor, what's all that noise? What, 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 what? I'm just building my platform, Baron. This may be more difficult than I thought. And they thought Carter had problems. I'll see you later. No, no, Igor, don't do it that way. the undead. How do you like my little bat wing pen? It's guaranteed to write upside down. Think about it. I write some of the most touching poems you'll ever hear. Just listen to this. New blood is red, old blood is blue. When I bite your neck, I'll suck your blood from you. Blue. A little poetry in a jugular vein. I love it. Baron, I think all your poetry is written in vain and listened to in pain. You joke, Igor. You joke. You shouldn't, but you do joke. You don't realize my true genius. Someday, someday, I will be up there with the greats, the poetic geniuses like Edgar Allan Poe and Norman Vincent Peale. I can see it now, the Von Crypt anthology. But anyway, you watch this movie. I have some writing to do. Let's see here. Uh, a birdie with a yellow bill hopped upon my windowsill. He broke the glass with his peck, 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 and a large, sharp piece just slashed his neck. How touching, such feeling. Wonderful, I love it. It's All right, let's see here. I milked the cow at the witching hour, but I scared it so that the milk turned sour. Ah, yes, a little rural poetry for the farming community. Oh, hello there, Von Crypt here, well on my way to becoming the world's most prolific poet. <laughs> Baron, I think you've created a new kind of pollution and I have a poem for you. I enjoy great poets li like Keats and like Shelley, but Baron von Crypt gives me a pain in the belly. Hmm. I'll give you more than that, you little sod of zombie. I don't believe it. I don't have to put up with this. I won't put up with this. I'll see you later. Trust me. in the cemetery to clear the sinuses. Ah, yes. Hello there. I am Baron von Crypt, and I was just enjoying my garden cemetery. It's lovely out here, and the ground is so fertile. I come here when I'm in grave need of relaxation. Besides, this is home to me. This is where I was born and raised. Or should I say, Lord, think about it. Ah, yes, and here is my uncle's headstone. He carved it himself. Unusual, isn't it? What's so unusual about that, Baron? Well, he did it after he died. He was a brilliant man in his day. He ran the shovel rental at the old cemetery. Now there was a man who really called a spade a spade. Think about it. He also wrote hundreds of musical scores for horror movies. A great talent. It's ironic that after spending his entire life composing, now he's spending all his time decomposing. But 
You didn't come to hear me chit-chat about my family, so you enjoy this little movie whilst I reminisce, and I'll see you later. Well, back so soon, I was just down under visiting my uncle. He looks better every year. I was hoping to be able to visit with my old friend, the Invisible Man, but I don't see him around. Think about it. You know he's always had it tough with women. They seem to see right through him. He almost got married once to the lovely Lucretia. Well, what happened, Baron? What happened? Well, Igor, he never showed up at the church. Think about it. To this day, I don't know what she saw in him anyway. But enough of this idle chit-chat. I must go, and I'll see you another night. Trust me. Baron von Krypt, and tonight I will explain how to put a bite on a victim and suck her dry of blood. Blah. Sounds like fun, doesn't it? This is a subject you can really sink your teeth into. First, you need a good set of fangs. A set of what? Fangs. Fangs. You're welcome. You're welcome. I can't believe it. Igor, you drive the hearse. I'll do the jokes. Talk about a pain in the neck, but anyway. The standard approach is the full front neck bite. I'll show you. Come to me, my dear. I look deeply into her eyes as she slowly walks toward me, hypnotizing her with my magnetic personality. And as she collapses in my arms, her head tilts to one side. I neatly nibble my way to her jugular. It certainly gives a new meaning to the word necking. Igor, put this lady in a chair. She'll turn into a zombie in no time. Meanwhile, you watch this movie. Trust me. Back again so soon. I'm just grading a few papers from my night school class. They were a good group. They got four A's, two B's, and one O positive. Think about it. Now that's my type of student. I just love night school. I also teach an art class, you know. But Baron, what do you know about art? Igor, you dummy. I happen to be an expert at drawing blood. But let's see how our lovely young lady is getting along. She should be a zombie by now. My goodness, she's losing weight. Well, my bite must be worse than my bark. She went right past zombie to dog food. Baron, the butcher is here to see you. Well, tell him I've got a bone to pick with him. I'll see you another night. What beautiful teeth you have, sweetheart. A little bony, but nice.
Hello there. This is Baron von Gritt, here displaying yet another of my great talents. Realistic painting. I first discovered my artistic talents one day while drawing my bath. Then I drew the drapes. Trust me, the rest is history. <laughs> All the art critics may try to give me the brush off. But they'll soon realize that von Kripp realism is an art form to be reckoned with. Oh, I know they say that an artist has to suffer to be great. But believe me, if living with Igor for 450 years isn't suffering, I don't know what is. Aha, there, my masterpiece is unfolding, taking shape. I think I call it bunch of apples study in red. Aha, fini. Bannon, it almost looks good enough to eat. Of course. Now that is realism. Hello there. Since I was so successful at a still life, I thought my next effort should be a portrait. And of course, what better portrait than my own? Ah, oh, yes, and when it's on display in the museum, it will be the first time that I have ever hung right side up. Think about it. Oh, it must be a thrill for you to watch a genius at work. <laughs> where, Baron? Where? Very funny, Igor. Ah, yes, there it is, complete. Such depth, such color, such realism. A true masterpiece. Another triumph for realism. Good night. Good night. Good night. Blue.